They're mixing, stirring, this is a delicious soup, right? and stacking. It's lunchtime at St. Boniface Hospital, and unlike many Canadian hospitals, food is not frozen, prepackaged, or reheated here. We have cooks that come in every day and make fresh food every day. More than 1,100 meals are prepared from scratch in this on site kitchen every day. And according to a recent study, it's a service not only helping patients here get better faster, it's keeping them from coming back. 45% of hospitalized patients have malnutrition across Canada. Um, and that, that malnutrition is significant so that um, it's associated with staying in hospital longer, it's associated with increased mortality and with death, and also associated with uh, more likelihood of coming back into hospital and being readmitted. Dr. Donald Dirksen helped launch the Canadian Malnutrition Task Force study. A thousand patients from 18 hospitals took part, including 60 patients from St. Boniface. It found malnourished patients were more likely to stay in hospital longer, be readmitted within 30 days of discharge, and more likely to die from complications. Good nutrition is very important. I mean, if you're not eating well, you're not getting the nutrients and the protein that you need to get better. Jennifer Godkin is one of 18 dietitians on staff at St. B, screening patients for malnutrition. Those at risk receive specialized diets. We can, you know, we have diets for patients with heart disease. We have gluten-free diets. We can accommodate vegetarian populations. Um, one we use an awful lot with patients with just malnutrition is a high-protein, high-energy diet just to get those extra calories and protein in there.